I'm Kai, author of Survive. For my first career, I taught rock climbing, rappelling, hiking, kayaking, and sailing to a wide variety of groups, including corporate groups, juvenile offenders, school groups, and the general public. For over six years, I barely slept in a bed. I kept people safe in some of the most extreme terrain in the world, from the remote and deadly west coast of British Columbia to the depths of the Amazon jungle and the barren high altitude slopes of Nepal, all while participating in high risk activities that had the potential for disaster. Testing my ability to the limits, I began to head into the outdoors with less equipment until I was confident with my ability to survive with nothing. It was then I trekked 100 miles across the Sierra Nevada mountain range carrying only a knife. It was after this that I was asked to participate on the very first season of Discovery's Naked and Afraid. It was to be the Everest of survival challenges. 21 days with one item and not even the clothing on my back to keep me protected from the elements. It was the ultimate challenge in the arena that I'm most passionate about. This was the start of three of the most extreme adventures I've ever had. I mean, Louisiana swamps can be difficult at the best of times, but my partner and I had the coldest May on record, as well as nine days of flooding where we had no dry land at all. The Bahamas was my next challenge. I was put on an island where there was no food and I had to compete with sharks in the ocean for my sustenance. And finally, the last Naked and Afraid challenge was my most desperate of all. 21 days in the Amazon, in the wet season, alone. I've also braved a 12,000 foot mountain and minus 25 degree temperatures in China, survival style, to be the only female competitor on season two of Discovery's First Man Out. I'm extremely passionate about my own country's unique wildlife and landscape and shared the beauty of the Aussie bush living off grid in my own TV series, Outback Lockdown. You could say I've put my body on the line to test a lot of the knowledge that I've shared with you in Survive. I have a slightly different way of looking at survival. It has in the past been thought of that the strongest and fittest will survive. And I don't believe that. I believe it's the person with the right mindset and attitude will be the one that makes it through. It's why 80 year old grandmothers can walk out of the bush after three months being lost with barely a scratch on them and trained survivalists can die in days. Knowledge will help you get through if applied with the right attitude and being prepared with the right kit will also help you get through. But nine times out of 10, you aren't expecting to be in a survival scenario, which is why it becomes a life or death struggle rather than an extended camping trip. I can't prepare you for every element of what your struggle might contain. I can prepare your mindset though. I will provide you with ways of understanding what your priorities are and how best you can survive. I want you to become flexible in your thinking. Sometimes trying to remember and follow a rigid set of rules can be more detrimental than simply observing what's going on for you and trying to find your best method of dealing with it. I want to empower you to know the difference between your wants and your needs and to focus on the things you can change rather than obsess over the things you can't. I'm wearing a dead pheasant mask in the middle of nowhere. Above all, I want you to learn to be proactive in doing what you need to do in your specific survival scenario to keep your friends and loved ones safe and survive. Whether you're faced with a natural disaster in your home, a riot near your workplace or an accident in the outdoors. Don't be scared, be prepared.